In this video, I'm going to show you how you can begin customizing your image to do a series of uh, different modifications. One of the tools we're going to use the most is called the Quick Selection tool. And one of the tools I'm going to recommend you do is also zoom in, okay, so control plus. So we're going to take this image and we're going to start with, um, well, the image is a little bit out of focus, I noticed, but it's kind of a hard thing to fix. But what I'm going to do is, before I, I go and start playing around with different uh, selection tools, I'm going to go and adjust the level. So if ever you don't see this panel, go to Windows, Adjustments, and pop it up here. It is available over here, but this the one you want to use is over here because it's non-destructive. So click over here, we'll turn on our levels, and as I showed you yesterday, you can kind of play around with it. And if for whatever reason, uh, we had a discussion with uh, the student and he was saying he wanted to be an electric, you know, uh, electric kind of uh, character who had powers and control over electricity and so on. So I'm going to kind of change his look a little bit using the curve. Now, if I want to remind you that you're trying to keep the hero looking as real as possible. And I think that works. So he kind of has sort of a glow going, which is kind of, I think, what I want. So, you know, you can play around with these and get a lot of different looks. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just quit and say that that's okay. Okay. Now we're going to move on and we're going to start with selecting different uh, features. Before I do that, I want to just remind you what I said in the last video. You may want to combine your layers here. So I'm going to click the shift key and it will select everything. Right click and I'm going to merge the layers. So now this is what he looks like. If I did want to go back because I made a mistake, I would go control Z or control alt Z if I need to go back more than one step. So I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm going to zoom in go plus and I'm going to go with the eyes here. So I am going to select the quick selection tool. And you notice how it's pretty big. So I'm going to use the bracket tool to shrink it. Make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to click here. And this is too big. So what I can do here is just use the minus tool and just bring it back to just the eye. You go slowly, take your time, and you could also use the elliptical marquee tool, which may be what I should probably do in this in this video because it's a little bit uh, the, the, this photo lacks focus, so that's not. So I'm going to go Control D for deselect, and I'm going to go get the marquee elliptical, and I'm going to draw it from the center. So press the Shift key move it after okay and I'm going to duplicate that uh, get the command. I'll just do it in another one so we'll go over here so it'd be important to, I'd probably retake this image it's not sharp enough and that's too bad because like the one I was working with yesterday was much sharper Control Z decisions you want to just move it so we got the crosshair um, control Z that one control Z control Z and then one thing I did forget put your finger on the shift key so that if you add a second uh, eye well it doesn't disappear we're gonna say that's good enough okay yeah, there's a lot of things I could do to modify these and the, the main panel you want to go to is right here uh, so basically, uh, you have a lot of different um, adjustments you can make. I'm going to go with use saturation, but you could play with selective color. You could add a solid color. You could try different things and see what comes and happens. It's just sometimes it's subtle and it's going to be happening here. So I'm going to go use saturation, and I'm going to just show you. So when I start changing this, you see how the eye color is changing? So you basically go with what you know, you think works best for your hero. So this guy has like, he wants to look a little supernatural because he's got energy surging through him. So I'm going to go with that. Another thing you could do is use a blending mode. Let's try and see what overlay does, you know, and play around with some of them. Maybe not overlay, but lighten uh, or whatever. Okay. Darken. You know, it's almost a little too subtle there. So I'm going to go back to dissolve. And, uh, leave it. I'm going to think I'm going to leave it normal. So part of the thing that you want to change, you want to 
and modify as you move along and uh, always basically improve what you're doing. So, oops, let me just put this right here. I'm going to go normal. And I think I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is click on shift and I'm going to merge these two layers. Now I'm going to move on and change the hair. So same tool. I'm going to use the quick selection tool and it does a pretty good job. If ever it doesn't, what you can do is click over here, the plus key, and again with the bracket tool, shrink this. I don't want to add on anything that's not part of his hair. But I want to just change his hair now, nothing else. And you see how here this is broken. So you want to, I'm going to shrink this again, bracket tool. So there's just a little bit of hair here. But you definitely want it to go all the way down. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in again because it's hard to see and I'm having a hard time bringing out if it's following. So th these are the kind of things that actually can take time. Um, and you want to do it well because if you don't, then your hair will look fake. And I do realize I did this quickly here. Um, I kind of look fake, but uh, the whole point is, you know, I'm showing you the technique and I'll let you develop it and take your time and try different things. And I'm going to enlarge this a little bit now. It's just ridiculous how small and oh, there it is. It's picking it up finally. And maybe this last little bit here. And I'll say, I could subtract part of the year here, click the minus, say I'm a little too much on the year, so we'll push it in a little bit. And that's part of also your selection. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. For now, you know, I'd probably take a little more time if I was you, but uh, uh, for the purpose of the tutorial, I don't want it to be 45 minutes long here, so I'm going to just go with that. And add just a little bit of plus over here, we're missing a bit of hair. And a little bit over here too. Okay, that's pretty close. So same idea. All right, so we're going to continue here. I'm going to just show you one or two things you could do. Again, you and saturation, play around, and you want to maybe make his color, his hair. Remember that we said he's going to be an electrical charge superhero. So maybe we want to go with a little more blue, a little more, you know. And this is the thing: if it looks too fake, that's something you want to not maybe go with you want to maybe play around with it a little bit and get it to where you want to go i need a little more red here and a little more i'm going to go here again this might not be exactly what i would do so that's an idea uh if i'm happy with that i merge these two layers i'm usually going to go all z show you another idea you could do so i'm going to click here and I don't know if this looks good. You got the patterns. You can upload patterns from the web. And, you know, somehow he has this, like, otherworldly look. Uh, you know, and there are a lot of other things that I think what is important to do is play around with these. You're going to probably find things. Um, you know, let's try gradient. Let's see. You know, I showed you guys how to build your own gradients. So maybe you want to implement one. Let's pretend we go with this. This would be a good idea to maybe use a blending mode. So you want it to look real. Overlay is a good one. Uh, and, you know, maybe that's another idea. So the blending mode. And see here, when I did the eye, I didn't pick a blending mode, as you probably remember. But I probably should have. Okay? So um, one last thing we could do is select a shirt. So control minus. I'm not going to go through this whole, whole thing. Same idea. Use the quick selection tool. Select your shirt. Probably apply a blending mode at the end. And uh, that would be all for today's tutorial. Tomorrow we're going to learn how to add some special effects to your hero.